Okay, it's time for our third and final example for finding the area between two curves. And this is one where it's going to be all calculator all the time. In fact, this is stuff we can't do algebraically. So if we're looking at the area between y equals x minus x sine x and y equals 5 minus x squared. I've already graphed this. Looks like this. I am going to just do a really fast sketch of it just so I can, you know, have something to work from. And it doesn't have to be a great drawing. Um, I mean, it really doesn't have to be a great drawing. Um, good enough. It's perfect, right? They look exactly alike. No one can tell the difference. So the only reason I'm doing this is just because it helps me to keep track of things. So the things I need to keep track of are those intersection points and which one's on top. So I have y1 is the x sine x, x minus x sine x. So the first thing I'm going to write down here is I am going to say let y1 equal x minus x sine x. I know that this equation is written here as well. Um, let's pretend that what's written up here though is like something I can't touch because it's in the question prompt. Like if you're doing this online, um, which you will be, you would need to write this down because it's not gonna show up on your, like there's no way you could like tuck a one in there in the question prompt. And then I'm gonna let y2 equal the five minus x squared. And on my drawing, I can even remind myself that that's y2 and this is y1. The other thing I need to know are these intersection points. So I'm gonna call them A and B. I'm gonna just label them on my drawing for a moment or on my graph, it's a fancy graph. And then on my calculator, I can have my calculator tell me these two points. So if I go second trace, number five is intersect. It says first curve, I hit enter, second curve, I hit enter again, where it asks me to guess since I want to be, I want to find that one on the left. I can tell it's somewhere around neg between negative two and three. If I just type negative two and hit enter, it will take me there. So I have this negative point, negative 2.9247 dot, 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 dot. I'm going to go out of here. I'm going to hit my X. I'm going to hit the store button just above on and store it as A. And on my paper, I'm going to write, let A equal negative 2.924 dot, dot, dot. I'm just saying that the dot, dot, dot is telling me this goes forever. And then I'm going to find my second one. So second trace again, intersect. First curve, I'm on Y1, so I hit enter. Second curve, I'm on Y2, so I hit enter. And then for my guess, since I want to be over at this one on the right, I'm going to type a 2 in because it'll take me close to it. And then it takes me to this 2.154. So I'm going to quit out of here, go to my home screen and go X, store, and then I'll call it B. And then I'm going to write it on my paper. So I have this let B equal 2.154. Four dot dot dot. Notice I'm not I'm not rounding anything. I'm just writing these numbers down as they are the first three decimal places. Always go three decimal places though. But the dot 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 does imply it keeps going. But this is the cool thing. By having all of this defined, I don't have to write them ever again. So looking at this, if I look at my sample rectangle, which I'll draw that in. My sample rectangle, I have a dx for the width of it. The height is the red minus the blue or y2 minus y1. So my area, it's going to be the y2, the red, minus the blue, y1. Sorry about all the pen clicking so I can switch my colors. And then the time, so the, there's my height times the width, which is dx. And then to get that whole entire area, I can integrate it. And my bounds left is a, and b is my upper bound. And having this here, I have just given myself directions on what needs to be typed. That's pretty handy. If I hit math and nine, so I can put my alpha a in for my lower bound, alpha b for my upper bound, 
and then y2, so alpha trace 2, minus alpha trace 1, and an x. So notice that what's typed here is exactly the same as what's written there. It's awfully convenient. I hit enter and I can write down 20.772 and I am done. So how cool is that? So we have the power of calculators on our side. In fact, if we had tried, even if we you know, got these intersection points, because of this x sine x in the original problem, we couldn't integrate this by hand. You have no way of doing this problem correctly unless you use your calculator. It's the only way you can get it right. So you definitely want to be really good at using your calculator, and it's going to become even more important when we hit our topic after the areas. So learn and love your calculator. And remember, if you have the older calculator, it's going to look like this when you do it. It'll be like that fn int. It'll still be the y2 minus y1, but then a comma, an x, comma, a, comma, b. That's how you see it on the older calculators, and um, but it still works the same way.